All right, welcome to an unboxing, our first ever unboxing of the BAM box. And today, the BAM bag. I believe we have a BAM bag because we have a t-shirt that comes by being new members to the BAM box. But I honestly don't remember from a month ago when I placed the order if that is the case. So I'm excited to open both of these things. Once again, my wife is behind the camera giving you greetings. And today we will open first the bag. Now we've been getting loot crate for several months and we saw the BAM box and said we were going to stop, but we didn't stop. And we went ahead and bought this new box. Um, and only because of sheer excitement for everything that we've seen in the months past. So I am going to cut this open <laughs> while well, my wife makes me laugh from off camera. The better show is for me than for you at the moment, as she's being a goofball. And, all right. Bam! Bam. It's the bambox.com. I could be, a, definitely me, not my wife, with the size of the shirt, um, is going, are going to be a, a walking advertisement for the bambox, which is great, because if this bambox lives up to every other one that I've seen online, it's going to be incredible. So here we go. One little cut. Now the band box is starting with some things right inside the flap here to begin with. First of all, we have a notice of being an instant winner. There's also a notice that a winner will be announced on August 8th of a Stan Lee signed Ronan the Accuser poster. A straight out of BAM box want to trade an item website for community trading of items in case you have something that maybe isn't your style but you know will be somebody else's. And glued to the box is also a BAM pin, which I'm going to look at first. It looks to me like it's Rocket Raccoon with the word love under it as if it's a tattoo. Very cool. A lot of detail on that and a lot of color. Okay. Kind of excited. Let's see what this is. As usual, I'm going to just gently reach into the box and I feel paper, packing paper. I'm just going to have to be, oh, because all I can see is packing paper. You can use that later. I feel some heavy things. I feel some lighter things in here. Let's start with... It is a Star Trek Starfleet pin, the insignia. Mine. <laughs> My wife has claimed it. Very nice. I'm looking forward to reading about each of these. Oh, it's got a pin, a standard pin backing. So you can take this and attach it to anything. Let's go very nicely with our other Starfleet insignia that we have on the shelf today. That's exciting. It has a nice little box. Next, we have... What is this on the side? A piece of an actual costume worn by by the crew on Alien Resurrection. Authentic wardrobe. The back has some information about it. So it looks like they took a cut a piece out of one of the uh, jackets in the wardrobe and included it in, in a case for display. Am I reading that correctly? Silence means yes. 
So we have Alien. Next item we have is Superman, starring in Action Comics. July. It's a 60 cent comic. DC. Uh, encountering Brainiac. There's a, a statement authentication on the back that I want to want to take a look at. Okay. The van box has obtained this item personally or through a trusted partner, so it's a standard kind of statement. Um, signed by Todd Klein, it says on the back. Action Comics issue 545. Oh, and there, I didn't even see it, right underneath Brainiac's feet, Todd Klein signature, right in the big open space. That is, that is awesome. You can tell it's a, a real hand-signed signature, not some print as part of the, uh, part of the image. Ah, there's more in here. Next item is Green Lantern and Sinestro. I'm so bad with names even the stuff I like. Um, um, add it with a, a numbered and signature. What, does it say who signed that one? No? Okay. Um, but I will look at that in the book. If I could read a signature, I would tell you who it is, but we will know shortly. See if there's anything here that says. Um, let's see. I'm not seeing, oh, custom Star Trek Next Generation badge and rank pin had, it shows uh, that some of them have rankings, pins in those spots for the, that they wear on the, on the collar, but it looks like we did not get any uh, um, badges, any, any uh, pins to go with the badges. Um, so I'm not sure why that is, why those are missing, unless they've dropped down inside the box somehow, but I'm not thinking that's the case. It doesn't seem to be the case. So, I'm, I'm not sure about that. Um, the next item of the remaining two seems to be a bookend of Yoda. And, of course, green. And our last item is heavy. It says, Mars Space Sand Never Gets Wet. And if the lighting was better down here, I would be able to tell you it says how does it work, but I don't know how it works because I'm going to have to play with it. Some interactive sand. This amazing sand will not get wet. Dump it into a glass of water, remove it with a spoon, and it will emerge completely dry. The sand has the same properties as Martian soil and is used by scientists in NASA Mars exploration experiments. The uh, Silhouette statue that we have of Yoda. Um, there were three possibilities: Yoda, um, Boba Fett, and then the Darth Vader one is the one that is the one-up item. That's the the rarer one to get. The uh, rocket raccoon, raccoon pin. There was um, um, also the possibility of getting one that was Groot, uh, which is pretty cool as well. Of course, Groot is awesome. Um, the insignia. Uh, it's a step aboard the Enterprise. Choose your ranking with this custom badge and ranking pins, pin set, die cut from a sheet of copper. Um, I think we're going to have to follow up on why ours shows. Actually, now that I look at it, it looks like there's supposed to be four gold and then one black um, um, marker in there, and, and I'm not seeing any in ours at all. Um, and then the costume item and the, uh, um, um, the print. Um, let's see. Blake. Henriksen uh, is a Denver-based illustrator, now we're talking about the uh, Green Lantern, uh, uh, who currently operates under the pseudonym Pink Havoc. Blake has worked on such properties as Star Wars the Card Game, Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures, Lord of the Rings the Card Game, Warhammer, etc. His client list includes Sony Online Entertainment, Fantasy, uh, Flight Games, uh, Crypt Cryptozoic Entertainment, uh, Direwolf Digital, and Backflip Studios, to name a few. Um, so it looks like the, uh, um, uh, this print was signed by Blake Henriksen. All right, so that is everything in the BAM box. We should have another uh, unboxing soon as our next Loot Crate and our next 
Um, my wife's next, uh, uh, as much as I love it too, Firefly Loot Crate will be coming in the same month. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of BAM.